Pinaray Vijayan-led left democratic front government in Kerala has found itself in an uncharted territory after ruling front MLA PV Anwar leveled serious allegations against the chief minister and the government. Listen in. He is a very respected person and I consider him my father figure. I did indeed come from the Congress family, there is no doubt about that. But if there is a wrong, then I will definitely raise it. He tried to make me the thief. He tried to put me in the wrong side, which I did not like. I will give you time. He can criticize me, but he cannot blame me. He said governor has came to inquire about me. He did not the governor did not ask to inquire about me. Instead, he ordered an inquiry against the allegations that I had made. But if he thinks that he can blackmail me and threaten me, then he is wrong. I did not I do not belong to such a family. I won't step down because of his threats and back blackmail. I will only stand down in front of God and nobody else. If there is wrongdoing in the party, I will certainly raise them. Nobody can attack me and put me behind the bars instead or twist the story. Jay Lakshmi is joining us live on the broadcast. Jay Lakshmi, first of all, take us through these allegations which have been leveled against Pinaray Vijayan, his reaction, and how's the opposition really, you know, taken this? It looks like uh, con the Congress, uh, which is uh, their ally, uh, seems to be using it to attack uh, Mr. Vijayan and, of course, the left party. Yes, uh, in fact, P.V. Anwar had raised very serious and crucial allegations against the government. These has been a series of allegations that he has put out. He uh, said that, uh, you know, the first allegation, the major allegation being that the law and order of the state, ADGP law and order, M.R. Ajit Kumar, he has been involved in the gold smuggling with the help of his senior police associates and customs and that, you know, this all of this has been aware by his political advisor, P.K. Shashi, CM's political advisor. So major allegations were charged upon these three people, especially in the state, Chief, Chief, Chief Minister's political advisor, P.K. Shashi, and the ADGP law and order, M.R. Ajit Kumar, and one of the senior police officers involved in the, uh, involved, it is Sujit Das. So all these three people were the allegations again. He also had alleged that, you know, the state, uh, the senior leaders in the party are helping Ajit Kumar uh, do phone tapping and uh, of ministers. And, you know, he is also, it, he also alleged that Ajit Kumar is involved in custodial deaths of the people in the top, uh, uh, for his, for eating out the gold smuggling process. So these are the major allegations that he has been putting on in a series of press, press conferences to which the CM has yesterday outright uh, rejected all of these allegations, saying that it is a mere propagative uh, statement just to you know, help out the enemy. party, uh, dismissing it as a mere provocative statement. I am the future that was born a hundred years ago. I am the purpose that emerged with India's independence. To be a force for business that takes India to the world and the world to India. Creating pathways of self-reliance. To stand for progress, the planet and the people. Towards a future made perfect. 
and be a force creating abundance. Because independence is not a moment in history. It's a never-ending path to prosperity. Aditya Birla Group, a force for good.